it's sojourner of sojournings and welcome back to my channel the girls are going from johannesburg to cape town south africa if you missed part one of the travel vlog it's linked in the description box below but we are headed to the beautiful the gorgeous cape town and you'll never believe where we went the minute we got off the plane off the plane to the airbnb into a day party yay <laughs> it's a turn up it's the elevator for me so we actually found this day party on Instagram. It's with Slow Cook Sundays and it was a total vibe. As you can see, we were loving all the Afro beats. They had R&B, had a little bit of hip hop and rap. It was a great time full of young black folks. So if you're in Cape Town, I highly recommend you check them out. Good morning. We are on our last leg of the trip in Cape Town and our Airbnb is super nice. Not gonna lie. We have a great view of the water. Like look at that. Look at that. It is so so pretty. Have a nice table out here. It is a humongous house. Like look at this. So humongous. There's one bedroom over there, another one back there. We have a kitchen. And then downstairs. We have more. There's one bedroom right there. One bedroom right there. And there's a pool out there. So nice. So, so nice. We were supposed to go to the cable car this morning, but it's really windy um, to go to Table Mountain. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the wind lets up before we leave on Thursday. We have three more days in Cape Town. And so I really hope the wind operates so that we can actually do one of the big things here. If not, I'm gonna try to do the Lion's Head hike. We'll see, I've heard the hikes here are pretty intense, so we'll see how that goes. But we are going to go to Robbins Island today, and then we have to go to Bow Cap and just see what else we can do. I may go to the art museum here, I heard it's really nice. So yeah, that's the plan for the day. Yesterday, as you probably saw, we got off the plane and literally went to our Airbnb and then went to the day party. Because why not? Uh, Johannesburg was not as windy as Cape Town is, but it's also less load shedding here, which is really nice. So that's our plan for the day. I'm going to go get a juice and yeah, figure out what to do next. <laughs> Since it was too windy for Table Mountain, we ended up rushing to the ferry to go to Robben Island. If you are unfamiliar with Robben Island, it is where Nelson Mandela, who was the first black president of South Africa, was a political prisoner prior to his presidency. After visiting the Hector Peterson Museum in Johannesburg, I think that put a lot of this even into a larger context, just because you know how long they fought for their rights. I'm someone who loves history. My name is Sojourner, so obviously I have affinity for history. And I think it's really important as tourists that we learn about the social, political, cultural context of the places we visit. And having a tour that was also led by a former political prisoner was very insightful and I learned a lot that I also didn't know about this time. So I recommend going on this tour and adding it to your itinerary. It says to plant a seed, watch it grow, tend to it, and then harvest it offered a simple but enduring satisfaction. The sense of being the custodian of this small patch of earth offered a taste of freedom. Nelson Mandela. waiting for a table mountain i keep calling it tabletop mountain and it's not the actual name it's just table mountain it is a 45 minute wait midday but we got a sandwich 
So we're gonna be good. Snacks. Mm-hmm. Eating a crow burger, aka a very delicious chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have three. Awesome. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm out of breath. I even like it. So a fun fact about me is that I cannot swim and I do not really like water activities. So I'm cold. Okay. I just like to look cute. By simple. Okay. Day eight, day nine, doesn't matter. We're here still. Your girl needed a juice today, something nutritious and healthy, because we've been eating. My gosh. So we booked a Cape Peninsula tour, but none of us actually looked at that itinerary, and now we're getting on a boat. So, Hi. should be fun. <laughs> okay, none of us read it. None of us read what was gonna happen today. We just booked the trip. So what had happened was we did end up booking this Cape Peninsula tour with more Africa tours who we actually went on tours with in Johannesburg as well. Sea Island was not included so we paid a little extra but it was such a fun time. These ones in the water are just a total vibe. Look at it. It's an elephant seal. Didn't know that was a thing but yet here it is. Hey, boo boo. In order to get to the Cape Point Peninsula, you have to go through Chapman's Peak, which is one of the most scenic drives in Cape Town and honestly in the world. It's so gorgeous and you've probably seen it in commercials without realizing it. We did do a little photo stop before heading all the way down to the Cape of Good Hope where you do a little bit of hiking. You do see some baboons on the side of the road, but you do have to hike up to the lighthouse which we did and i was out of breath so bring some water and wear some comfortable shoes but i'm really glad we did it because the view from the top was absolutely gorgeous the water was so pretty and blue after the hike we were all hungry so we did stop in simon's town for lunch before heading to the infamous boulders beach which you see the penguins this was one of the things on my list to see and it was just so cool seeing the south african penguins because i I normally think they're in cold areas, but these ones are just kicking it in Cape Town. And finally, on our walk back to the van before heading home, there was a market. So, of course, I indulge. Bring your cash. And then we had our driver drop us off at Bocap, which is the predominantly South Asian or Southeast Asian and Muslim neighborhood in Cape Town. So you can snap some photos in front of the colorful houses. How was your wine for breakfast? I always want wine for breakfast, <laughs> actually. <laughs> 
this is a really great way to walk into a meeting. I know. Right? <laughs> Be like, hey y'all, good, good morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> Conclude our time in Cape Town. We did a half day wine tour to the different wine lands and wineries that they have in Cape Town. This also was organized by Mo Africa Tours, who we've taken at think at least four tours throughout this trip with. So we definitely recommend them. This is a nice, relaxing, very satisfying way to end a busy 10 days in South Africa. Take a sip. And then take a piece. Chew. Piece, chew. And then take a sip like <laughs> you don't smoke. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm. Okay. So this one is how it demands French oak. So the aroma that you can get is blueberries, plum. Oh, it's salty too. Yeah. Our last tour of the trip. Sufficiently tipsy. So that's great. Yeah. But this is the end. We are leaving tonight. Can't believe it's over. But the girl is very tipsy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I could, I, I really need some food, like now. Happily tipsy with my bottles of wine that I stuffed into my check bag. This concludes my South Africa travel vlogs. Don't forget to watch part one in Johannesburg. And I would love to come back one day to see more of what this country has to offer. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, stay curious and subscribe for more.